Uh, today we're going to be reviewing the EM GTX 460 by ASUS. This is a capable of voltage, voltage tweaking for up to 50% faster overclocks. It comes standard with 1 gig of GDDR5 for high resolution gaming. It has full DirectX 11 support, so the bomb with tessellation. It has, I'm not sure how many CUDA cores it has, I'll have to check that out, but it comes with plenty of CUDA cores. It's capable of being a physics card if you have a secondary or main card. And also it's direct CU contact, which means it has its own custom cooler by ASUS. Turn this thing over, so put it on the back. Powerful features include powered by NVIDIA GTA G4 460, 1 gigabyte of GDDR5 memory, variety connectivities, it's got dual DVI, DV sub, HDMI, and HDCP connectors. Uh, Microsoft DirectX 11 and OpenGL support, ASUS exclusive innovations, Splendid SmartDog Gamer OSD, which would probably be this. Yeah, voltage tweak technology allows you to boost GPU voltage speeds via ASUS Smart Doctor program to achieve up to 50% performance gain. I'm guessing the program is on ASUS.com or on the CD that will come with this thing more likely. The GTX 460 is only capable of dual, SS dual SLI, not quad or TriFire, or Tri, whatever, Tri-SLI. It is also NVIDIA 3D Vision ready, so you can have this hooked up to a 3D ready monitor. Now, and here's direct CU contact. It also runs 20% cooler due to the aftermarket cooler ASUS incorporates on it. ASUS exclusive direct CU con thermal solution includes 3.8 millimeter flattened copper heat pipes to directly contact the GPU and reach up to 20% cooler than generic GD4 GTX 460. Now the recommended system requirements on the box says 2 gigabyte of system memory or more for best performance, motherboard with PCI Express slot and correct PCI chipset driver, Microsoft Windows XP, Vista, or 7, a minimum of 450 watt power supply with 12 volt rating of 24 amps on the rail. I'm not sure, but you might be able to get away with that or with some kind of disagreement there. Uh, you need two two uh, six-pin PCI Express power connectors to run this card. Now let's get into the nitty-gritty. ASUS has a rather nice way of box boxing these. Let's see, we got a black, black cardboard box with nice gold writing on it. So we open it up, we see got more boxes. Let's see what we got up in here. Okay, they've included a 6-pin to dual Molex connector in case you do not have enough PCI connectors. You have a uh, DVI to VGA connector. We also have a DVI to HDMI connector. Bad. Another one. Open this up. Side. We got the VGA driver manual. Usually you do not need to use these. You just go to the, in the NVIDIA site and get the latest drivers. We got a manual here telling you how to install the graphics card in all kinds of different languages. And it's color too. That's a nice one. So there's that. Now, under here is the NVIDIA GeForce GX 460. Mm, package nice. Alright, here it is, guys. See, you can tell it's got nice flower style fan cooling and you could see the copper pipes up in there. I don't know if you can but you can see the copper. There's your PCI Express X16 connector and then we got here's the six pins that you need to connect it to the power. There's the overall average length of the card. You can see the regulators on the back for the power too as well. Now over here we got two, two DVI connectors along with a mini HDMI that you will need a connector for. And then, basically, you got your little fan connector. And that pretty much wraps it up for the 460. Benchmarks and stuff will be coming for it.